Space and its expanses have always been something that fascinates mankind. The journey to the moon is still one of the most significant events of the last century. Of course, we all became even more curious about what else the universe has to offer. The further away, the more interesting it becomes. A popular topic for scientists is the study of exoplanets. These are planets that are outside our solar system. One goal of research is to find a planet that is as similar to our Earth as possible. However, in the process of exploring, scientists have discovered some very bizarre exoplanets that are also deadly to humans. We have picked out 10 such planets for you for this video. Kepler 78b Kepler 78b was discovered by the telescope of the same name. The planet is about 400 light years away from Earth. At the time of its discovery, it was the planet most similar to Earth in mass and size. However, the distance to the planet's sun is quite different. It is about 600,000 miles away from its star. As a comparison, the Earth is 90 million miles away from our sun. Thus, Kepler 78b also has a very short year length. The planet needs just 8.5 hours to orbit its sun. But what makes Kepler 78b uninhabitable is not its year length, but its temperatures. Due to its proximity to its sun, temperatures on Kepler 78b range from 3600 to 5400 degrees Fahrenheit. Accordingly, the planet is also called Hot Earth. Gliese 581g Gliese 581g is located in a solar system about 20 light years away from us. The dimensions are similar to the Earth. The planet is three times heavier and has a radius about 30 times larger than our home planet. The distance from the planet's sun is less, but since the solar radiation is much lower, this would not be the crucial problem. Scientists see the possibility for the formation of water as probable, which is the cornerstone for life. What's problematic about Gliese 581g is its lack of rotation. The planet always faces faces its star with the same side. The border between too hot and too cold is quasi-fluid. HD 189733b this exoplanet, about 63 light years from Earth, is probably the last planet to be chosen for space travel. Although scientists were able to assign it an Earth-like color as the first exoplanet, the similarities to our home planet end there. The exoplanet is most comparable to Venus. The blue color of the planet does not come from water, however, but from suspended particles of molten silicate minerals. The planet has a temperature of 5400 degrees Fahrenheit and winds of up to 19,000 miles per hour. Hour. The journey to the exoplanet would probably fail from the get-go because of the unpleasant atmosphere, since the blowing particles would function like a shredder. PSR B1257 plus 12B, C, and D this group of planets all have quite similar properties and probably share the same fate. Scientists have been able to detect spectacular lights on the planets that are comparable to the auroral lights on Earth. However, the source of this light is also the reason why the planets are uninhabitable. The lights come from radiations of the star. Researchers assume that the star burned up in a supernova explosion. In the process, the matter of the core is compressed so that it all turns into neutrons. This causes the remnants of the star to rotate much faster, which results in the radiation. It's not unlikely that the different planets used to be one whole and were split by the supernova. OGLE 2005 BLG 390 LB this exoplanet is the planet with the largest distance to the Earth at the current state of research. A whole 21,000 light years distance prevails between the two planets. The mass of the planet is about five times as large as on Earth, but much colder. The surface temperature is about negative 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, scientists assume that the planet consists only of ice and rocks. The emergence of life is therefore also as good as impossible. Besides the frosty temperatures, the speed of the planet is also low. For just one orbit around its star, it needs 10 Earth years. GJ 1214b 
This is a planet which, according to researcher Zachary Berta, is so far unique in its form. The planet, which is about 40 light years away, consists to a large extent of water. One could assume that life would be possible thereby. However, this is not so. Due to the short distance to the star, high temperatures prevail on the planet, on average 450 degrees Fahrenheit. These unique conditions create materials like hot ice and superfluid water. Both are substances that do not appear in everyday research. Accordingly, the planet's atmosphere also consists of hot water vapor. You could compare the planet to a sauna, where you burn rather than relax. HD 209-458b the discoverers of this exoplanet unofficially call it Osiris, the Egyptian god of fertility and death. This has mostly to do with its discovery history. Osiris was the first exoplanet to be detected by the so-called transit method. In this method, planets are not searched for directly, but the brightness of the star is examined. If this changes, a planet is assumed to be the cause. Not only was Osiris a pioneer in the discovery, water vapor was also first detected on the exoplanet. From our solar system, Jupiter comes into question as the best comparison for Osiris. Osiris is larger but has a smaller mass and is assigned to the group of hot Jupiters. Trace 2b Space is dark in itself, but this exoplanet stands out once again. When scientists explored the planet, they found that less than 1% of the sun's light is reflected. Earth's moon, which is considered rather dark, reflects about 12% of the sun's light. The exoplanet is blacker than a piece of coal. Researchers do not yet know all the reasons for the extreme darkness. One explanation that leads to this strange condition is the high temperature. On Trace 2b, 1800 degrees Fahrenheit rains which prevents the formation of clouds of ammonia. Such a process happens on Jupiter, for example. Instead, a glow can be observed, like one seen on a stove. There are also light-absorbing chemicals on the exoplanet, although these are not enough to explain the extreme darkness. So researchers continue to grope literally in the dark. WASP-12b the exoplanet WASP-12b is a so-called gas giant. It's twice as large and 1.5 times as heavy as Jupiter. However, the planet is threatened by a bad fate. Researchers assume that WASP-12b will be eaten up by its star. The exoplanet is close to the star, which puts WASP-12b in a death spiral. The planet's proximity to its star causes it to heat up so much that its atmosphere expands, causing it to lose masses of matter. A full 6 billion tons per second are sucked out. Researchers were able to figure out that the planet is moving ever closer to the star. The time for orbiting the star has already decreased by 26 milliseconds, a phenomenon long known to exist. But by studying WASP-12b, scientists can observe it directly for the first time. The exoplanet has another 10 million years before it will be completely swallowed up. It does not share this fate alone, however. Other exoplanets are suspected to be in a death spiral. Janssen 55 Cancri E, later renamed Janssen, is probably one of the deadliest planets ever discovered. The data are also impressive. Janssen is a so-called super-Earth. The exoplanet is twice as large and eight times as heavy as Earth. Janssen is one-third diamond, but the precious metal cannot distract from the numerous dangers of the exoplanet. First, there is the estimated surface temperature of 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. This leads to the fact that the planet is mostly melted and covered by embers. However, this cannot be determined exactly. The reason for this is the extremely dense atmosphere of Janssen. The composition is similar to that of Earth, but much denser. In addition, there's no trace of hydrogen. The structure of Janssen still gives some mysteries to the researchers. Be it plate tectonics or the atmosphere, Janssen could answer some unanswered questions about rocky planets. The exoplanet is as fascinating as it is deadly. It's amazing what's out there in the vastness of the universe, especially when you consider that we only know small parts of the universe so far. To explore planets that are so far away from our Earth that probably can never be traveled to also shows the incredible progress of science in the last decades. One becomes a little more grateful that one can live on a planet adapted exactly to our needs. Which of these exoplanets do you find the most exciting? Where would you most like to travel to if the external conditions didn't affect you? Write it down in the comments and thanks for watching.